let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. Uh, people, let me tell you. Hey, John, what do you got going on? Hey, man, I was gonna ice skate out on this pond and do a little fishing. Ice skating and fishing on a pond? Genius, isn't it? Well, can we talk about this because I don't think this is gonna be a very safe situation. But the ice, there's ice on the I, pond. I realize there's ice, but let's talk about it a little bit. All right. So John, let's talk about this. I showed up and you were getting ready to do a little ice skating and some fishing, but it's really not a good idea. I know this ice looks like it might be safe, but there's a lot of bad things that can happen if you ventured out on that ice today. I thought all, I mean, ice looks solid, looks like you could walk right out there. Yeah, it's not. Unfortunately, here in Indiana, we have so much thawing and freezing of our ice, especially on ponds and neighborhoods, that it really becomes extremely dangerous. And with the holidays coming up, we know that kids are going to be out being active, and these ponds are very inviting for them to venture out on. And so our biggest concern is, is making sure that we're paying attention to, to what's going on in our neighborhoods and our communities. If we do see kids on the ice, making sure that they're getting off the ice. So I was a little concerned when I showed up. As much as I love to ice skate, as much as I love to fish, it was kind of dangerous. Weren't you a figure skater when you were younger? Well, let's not get into my figure skating career because I really didn't have very much luck at that. Oh, uh, well, I can see why. Yes. But, so how do you know? Like, if, if I'm not sure whether or not this ice is safe to go on, how, how do I know? You just assume that it's not safe. Now, we know there's a lot of sport fishermen in the state of Indiana that like to get out and ice fish every year. And there's a lot of information out there, especially from the Indiana DNR, uh, that will provide you everything you need to know about going out and doing that fishing. But I can tell you that these residential ponds, like we're looking at behind us here, can become a death trap for not only children, but an adult. And the other thing is, if, you're, if you see a dog, or maybe your dog ventures out on the ice, I don't want you going after the dog. As hard as that may be, it really isn't very safe. It ends up to be a double rescue. You can call for help. A lot of times the fire department will come and help with those types of, of rescues, uh, but uh, it's not safe for you to go after. Absolutely. So we just want everybody to have a safe winter and avoid getting on these very inviting ponds. Look like they could be fun for, for everybody to go out and play on. Uh, and again, we're gonna try to find a safer place for John to, to skate and fish than this neighborhood pond. At the same time. At the same time. That's gonna be some talent. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you do that. I'm a skate. multitasker. I understand, I understand. I've worked with you long enough now, I get a complete picture in my mind of you, you doing it. that. Yeah, let's do it. So, everybody stay safe and thank you again. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking sun to sun, people let me tell you about me so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking sun to sun, people let me tell you about my best.